U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack is defending the Metro Waste Authority's decision to dispose of millions of flu-infected bird carcasses right here in Polk County. But landfill neighbors and Polk County supervisors say it's a bad idea. Laura Nichols explains. That's right. Metro, Metro Waste Authority has agreed to dispose of millions of infected chickens and turkeys, but people who live close by question if this is safe. Leona Vandaloon has lived in her home since 1970. She was there long before the Metro Park East landfill was built nearby. Just across the road, you might say. The state's largest landfill just east of Des Moines plans to take in 120 to 240 tons of infected bird carcasses. It has to be put someplace, but I'd prefer it be someplace else. I don't want it, want it to cause any more. Diseases and things. Vandaloon isn't alone. Polk County supervisors also have concerns about sanitation and a potential local outbreak. The perception is going to be it's because Metro Waste Authority has agreed to allow those birds to be hauled here. I think it's, it's up to us to make sure that we reach out to the supervisors to explain to them that there isn't a risk involved here. In a one on one interview Friday, Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack told KCCI officials will dispose of the birds in a very safe and secure way using biohazard bags and placing them in trenches. In a closed off area. If we do this in the proper way, there is no risk to spreading this disease. That's precisely the reason why we have to get rid of the birds. Getting rid of them the right way, Vilsack says, will help end the worst bird flu outbreak in U.S. history that has already affected 64 Iowa farms and more than 25 million birds. We'll do this as, as quickly as we possibly can, try to get these folks back in business as, as quickly as we can, but it will take time, unfortunately. Now, Metro Waste Authority says there is no timeline yet on when the birds will be buried. Now, coming up at 6, Secretary Vilsack talks more about what the USDA is doing to help local producers and what protocols they should be taking to prevent the outbreak from growing.